a three-engined Italian classic. Find out more right here on Gary's Stuff. Hi there, I'm Gary. Welcome to my channel and welcome back if you've been here before. Now today I am looking at the history of this, the Savoia Marchetti SM79. I'll be having a look at the aircraft itself to give a bit of historical perspective as to why this kit was made in the first place. And then I'll be having a look at the history of that airfix kit and of course the range of other kits that are available either brand new or on the second hand market. Now, if you've already thought about getting one of these and you just want to know what's in the box, there is a companion box opening video already online. And if you've got one or you've got one on order and you just want to know how to put it together, that's the very next video that I'll be releasing. If you like any of these videos, do please remember Imperial thumbs up on the like button below because every like counts. And if you want to know when any of my videos are released, make sure you do subscribe to the channel hit the bell and you'll get a little notification when anything new pops up. And of course, if you want to give the channel a bit more concrete support, you can do that through Super Thanks by becoming a channel member or through any of my online affiliate programs. Well, enough of that. Let's make a start with the history of the Savoia Marchetti SM79 Spaviero. The Savoia Marchetti SM79 Spaviero, or Sparrowhawk, was an Italian three-engined medium bomber developed prior to the Second World War. Its distinctive humped appearance and three engines made it probably the most recognisable Italian aircraft of the war. The design was largely the work of engineer Alessandro Marchetti, who originally intended it as a fast eight-passenger transport aircraft. The prototype flew in 1934 and quickly established a number of world speed records. This brought considerable government support for the type to be developed as a fast medium bomber. Some 79s first saw combat during the Spanish Civil War in the late 1930s as part of the Aviazione Legionaria, supporting Franco's nationalists. By the time Italy joined the Second World War in July 1940, some 600 aircraft were already in service. Once the SM-79 started to operate in areas that had good fighter defences, they suffered increasing losses. In the skies over Malta, they encountered Gloucester Gladiators and Hawker Hurricanes, who found the SM-79 relatively easy prey. The same situation was found over North Africa. However, the SM-79 was more usefully deployed as a torpedo bomber, attacking Allied convoys in the Mediterranean. In 1941-42, SM-79s were credited with sinking seven convoy escort ships and 22 merchant vessels, with many larger ships damaged. But increasing Allied defences, such as the use of escort carriers and longer-range fighter cover, meant that the SM-79 became ever more vulnerable. Eventually, the life expectancy of a given aircraft was thought to be just three missions. After the armistice of 1943, aircraft in the north remained loyal to the German cause and made several attacks, notably one on British ships at Gibraltar. The last operational flight of the SM-79 was made by a pair of aircraft on December 26th 1944. Just over 1,200 SM-79s were produced, with a further 100 or so twin-engined aircraft manufactured under licence in Romania. Today, just two complete examples exist, both in museums in Italy. The kit I'm making here is a vintage classic release from 2020, 
although the moulds it uses were first made in 1967. This kit was also marketed by MPC in 1970. Teleri, of course, have made the SM79. This tooling first appeared in 2003. It has had a couple of reboxes since, but one planned for 2018 has yet to arrive. In 2009, Azure Forum released two kits of the SM79 in the two-engine Romanian version, something of a rarity to look out for. On to 148 scale, and Classic Airframes released their tooling in 2001, with a second kit released in 2005. This tooling was also marketed by Flashback in 2003. In the same year, Trumpeter released their own new tooling. Multiplast created a kit in the unusual 150th scale in the 1960s, but you are more likely to find the later boxes made by Snare in the 70s, 80s, and even the 1990s. Finally, if 132nd scale is your thing, then pretty much your only option is the Tigger Models VAC form from 2011. This was a kit based on the ID model set from the 1990s. There it is then. Um, a really interesting aircraft, I thought. I, you know, when I first looked at these, I thought, OK, it has its place in the war, but you know, there's nothing special about it apart from having three engines, of course. How wrong can you be when you think this is actually one of the fastest, if not the fastest, medium bomber? in the world at the start of the war. Um, it had a pivotal role to play in the battle for the Malta convoys in particular, but in the whole war in the Mediterranean. Um, it's a really important aircraft, and I'm glad it's being re-released as a vintage classic. So I'm looking forward to making mine. That's going to come in the next video. If you've thought, do you know what? I might really want one of these as well. What do you get in the box? There's already a video about that online. How do you know what videos are around? Well, what you do is you subscribe to the channel, you hit the bell, and you get notified of every new video of mine that pops up. And of course, anything you like, please do remember, Imperial thumbs up on the like button below because every like counts. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you again very soon. Take care now and goodbye.